<laughs> so, so let's go down the list here, okay? Number 203, oh, right. wrapped BNB. Now, BNB is literally a Binance product, and coin market cap is owned by Binance. This chart doesn't look so good. This, this BNB chart looks a little shitty. So why wouldn't wrapped BNB be up there? I mean, who's doing the wrapping? I don't even know who's wrapping this, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was somebody in the, in the BNB ecosystem. This probably belongs on the first page. The Fay protocol. The Fay protocol literally raised a billion dollars. A billion. They got a billion dollars of Ethereum put into their protocol. You can't get more legit than that, homie. You cannot get more legit than that. Explain to me why this is on page three. It doesn't belong on page three. I mean, the number, oh. like... They oh, straight they suck at their job. Coin market cap lies for a living. Go to their website and look. The facts are right in front of you. No, I know, but why? Why? why what is their logic, or what, what is the reason? What are they telling? They, they're just like uh, they get listed more places that have more fake volume. We're listed on five of their data partners, or three of their data partners, by the way. They don't give a shit. It's a joke. There's just one guy over there just decides what gets in and what don't. It's absolute centralized gatekeeping garbage that does active harm to users and they've had how many years to fix this how many years to fix this while they list things that harm users all day long disgusting coin gecko founders are a piece of shit too just for the record they have they list and promote so many rug pulls that they literally have to put a rug pull warning at the top of their pages that's how disgusting their site is CoinGecko is disgusting. CoinMarketCap is disgusting. Nomics actually does a good job filtering out the fake volume. So if you go to nomics.com, it shows more accurate ranking with all that fake crap volume. Here's how fake volume is created. Here's the bid. Here's the ask. Here's the bid-ask spread. And then a bot comes along and for free, because it doesn't pay any fees, goes, ha, 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 look at all the volume. Look at all the volume in between the bid-ask spread. I'm not actually hitting anyone's bids or ask. No one's actually making or losing any money. But look, there's all this volume right here in the middle because there's no fees. How is this good for the world, man? It's terrible. And I'm the only guy talking about it. I'm the only guy telling the truth about it. But these scumbags, they're, they're getting all the eyeballs from Google. It just blows my mind how misled people are. They sheep, they live with these blinders on. They don't know what's really going on. And I have to punch through and take the blinders off and actually educate everybody. It's insane. How does CoinMarketCap get away with this? These... Even if it, the coin market cap is accurately showing the, the, the price chart. So thank God for that. Okay. At least that's correct. But everything else is wrong. The total supply is wrong. The circulating supply is wrong. The market cap is wrong. The ranking is wrong. And they're not just doing that to us. They're doing, us, doing this to a ton of coins. 